Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com and in this video, we'll show you how to downgrade a Lineage OS ROM from any higher Android version to a lower Android version. For the sake of reference, I'm using a OnePlus 9 Pro and I'll show you how to do a downgrade from Lineage OS 21 to Lineage OS 20, that is Android 14 to Android 13. Do know that the easiest way of getting this job done is by, is by flashing the stock firmware it's also the recommended and the most safest approach of doing this job. That is, you will first and foremost have to go to the stock firmware by flashing the fastboot ROM. For instance, in case of Xiaomi, you could use the Mi Flash tool and flash the fastboot ROM. In case of Pixel, you could flash the firmware via the Android Flash tool. In case of OnePlus, you could use the fastboot enhance tool and get back to stock firmware. Once you are on the stock firmware, you could then easily flash the older Lineage OS ROM. But in this video, I'll show you one more method. In this method, you don't have to flash the stock firmware. Instead, you could simply do a downgrade from a higher Android version to a lower Android version directly on the Lineage OS ROM. Do keep in mind that it's quite a risky method and it might not work for all Android phones. It might only work for some Android phone. So only proceed ahead with these steps if you are ready to take the risk. If you don't want to take any risk, then I will again advise you to flash the stock firmware first. And after flashing the stock firmware, you could then do a downgrade. In other words, you could flash the stock firmware and then flash the Android 13 based Lineage OS 20. But in this video, I'll show you how to directly flash or do a downgrade on the Lineage OS itself without doing or going back to the stock firmware. This will definitely save us a lot of time. But on the flip side, it's quite a risky approach and it's generally not advised. But if you are in a hurry and you don't have much time in hand, and most importantly, if you want to take a risk, if you are ready for that, then let's get started. First and foremost, please take a backup of all the data on your phone because the process will wipe off all the data. Once that is done, make sure to download the Lineage OS 20 ROM and apart from ROM, you will also have to download all its other file as well, which in my case are the boot, DTBO, Super MT, VB Meta and Vendor boot. If you're using some other phone, then this file might vary. So depending on the file, the command will also be different. And if you're not sure of the command, you may reach out to me via the comment section and I will let you know the commands as well for the flashing. In my case, I'll show you how to flash these files. So the rest of the steps will be same for all the phones. Just the flashing of the these files might be different. So keeping that in mind, please take a backup of all the data. And once that is done, your first course of action is to enable USB debugging on your phone. So go to the settings menu, then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back, go to system and you should not see developer option. Go there and enable, enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. Tap on OK. And if you get an RC key prompt as well, in that case also tap on OK or allow. And with this debugging is enabled. Now you will have to get hold of Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive. You could extract them anywhere on your PC. Once that is done, Let's now open a command prompt window inside platform tools. So type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. And as you could see, this is the command prompt window inside the platform tools directory. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure that you're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, your next course of action is to boot your phone to fastboot mode. So type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone will now reboot into fastboot mode. It will take only a few seconds. So regarding this, as of now, your phone will already have the Lineage OS recovery pre-installed, but we will not use that recovery because that recovery is from a higher OS version. In my case, the Lineage OS recovery is from Android 14 but I want to flash the Lineage OS 13 ROM. So I will, I will first flash the Lineage OS 13 recovery as well. So it's always recommended to be on the same version of the recovery and boot and vendor boot files that is from the ROM itself. So since we are flashing the Android 13 ROM, so you'll also have to flash the Android 13 files of those ROM as well. So make sure you have got hold of all these ROM files as well, the IMG partition files. Once you've done the download, you will now have to transfer the all the IMG file inside the platform tool folder on your PC. So let's transfer them. And now we could start with the flashing process. But before that, you will first and foremost verify that the fastboot 
connection has been established. So type in fastboot devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then you will have to install fastboot drivers. I have made a separate guide and a video on the same. You could refer to my guide and the video and install the drivers. Once you have installed the drivers, use the Windows X shortcut keys and choose device manager. Then expand the Android phone section and make sure that your phone is being shown as Android bootloader interface. So this as well as the serial ID next to fastboot signify that the PC is able to read the phone in fastboot mode and we are now good to go ahead. So now let's start with the flashing process. So you may simply copy paste the command if you have the same files as, as my phone. If the files are different, then you will have to tweak the commands accordingly. If you are not sure of the command, you may ask me as well in the comment section. In my case, these are the files. So let me flash this file. The super empty IMG file is required to wipe the super partition so that we don't get any issues while doing the side load. You could refer to my guide and know more about this issue as well. So you might get an error 7 while doing a side load. To avoid that from happening, we have to flash the super empty IMG file. So moving on, you will now have to flash the DTBO file. Again, I am repeating these files are for my phone. In your case, it might be different. So you will have to use the same command accordingly. Then it's the vendor boot file. So let's flash that as well. After that, you will have to flash the vbmeta file. So copy and paste the command here as well. Then you have to flash the boot file. So let's flash the boot file. After flashing the boot file, you will now have to reboot your phone to the recovery mode. So select fastboot reboot recovery command and hit enter. Or you may also use the hardware key combination to get this job done. Your phone should now reboot to the Lineage OS 20 recovery. And it will take a few seconds for that to happen. And as you could see, we are now inside the version 20 of Lineage OS recovery. As you could verify from here. So let's now proceed ahead with the next step. Now your first course of action is to do a format data. Do know that this will wipe off all the data from your phone. If that's well and good, select factory reset. Format data factory reset and select format data. A format data is compulsory if you are doing a downgrade. There is no escape from that. Once you have done a format data, come back to the home screen. And now you may do the side load of the Android 13 or the older version of the ROM file. So in my case, I am using the Android 13. I was initially on Android 14 and now I will flash the Android 13. So I am going from Lineage OS 21 to Lineage OS 20. So make sure to get hold of the ROM file as well. So this is the ROM file in my case. So transfer the ROM file from to, to the platform tools folder on your PC. Let's transfer it here in the platform tools folder. Once that is done, let's rename the file to something shorter. So let's just rename it to ROM and the complete name becomes ROM.zip. Once that is done, let's now start with the side loading. So your first course of action is to go to apply update and select apply from ADB and your phone will now reboot to the side load mode. Let's verify the same. So type in ADB devices and make sure that you're getting the side load keyword. Once you're getting the side load keyword, let's now start with the side load process. So type in ADB side load and the name of the file, which is rom.zip and hit enter. The side loading of Android 13 lineage OS 20 will now start and it could take up to six to eight minutes. So let's just wait for that to happen and then we will be back. So guys, the downgrade is now complete and you will now get a prompt if you want to flash any other zip file. So you, if you want to flash the gapps or a matches zip or any other mod zip file, then tap on yes. Your phone will then reboot to recovery. And from then you may do an ADB side load of the required zip file. And after that you must select reboot system now. On the other hand, if you don't want to flash any other zip file, then tap on no. And after that, simply tap on reboot system now. And your phone will now reboot to the downgraded OS. In my case, it will boot to the Android 13 lineage OS 30, 20. So let's verify the same. Let's first wait for the boot animation to appear, which will signify that the flashing has been done successfully. And after that, we could then proceed ahead and check out the ROM as well. So let's verify if we get the boot animation. So as you could see, it's the boot animation. It's the old boot animation. As you might be aware, with Android 14, the boot animation has been changed. And it's the older one. Also, guys, keep in mind that the first boot up will take up some additional time frame. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. And with this, we are now inside the setup process. So let me quickly go through this process and skip the rest of the stuff. I will restore it later on and let me skip this as well. 
and with this we are inside the android 13 linear os 20 rom let me show you that as well so let's go to settings about phone and as you could see it's the android 13 build so guys these were the steps to do and downgrade from a higher lineage os version to a lower version i am again repeating the recommended approach is always flashing the stock firmware first and then flashing the lower version of lineage os but if you are short on time and if you are ready to take a risk this is a risky approach which i have just shown so if you are on the verge of taking a risk then you may try out th th this approach in most cases it should work depending on the phone i guess it will mostly work but in some cases you might come across a few issues so if you don't want to take any risk then once again i will tell you to opt the safest approach of flashing the stock firmware first and then flashing the lower os of the lineage os or you could simply if you want to take a risk do a side load of the lower version of the lineage os but before that the most important thing is to do a factory reset if you don't do a reset then the downgrade will fail and your phone will not boot to the os so do a, a factory reset and that should rectify the issue and you will be able to boot to the os on that note i round off this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching